the practice? I guess what have you kind of seen out of your team so far? You know, uh, the big thing is is pretty good grasp of what it is we want to get accomplished in terms of our offensive systems, our defensive systems, and then the special teams. Uh, we've been able to get, I want to say, seven really our core installs in, and, and I like the way that we've kind of retained some information. I mean, even the young players have uh, been able to get out and execute some of the stuff that we've asked them to do. Uh, this Saturday will be a good barometer for us in terms of figuring out uh, without the coaches on the field, it would be good to see these guys go scrimmage now. You talked about the youth and the guys who are new uh, to camp this year. What have you seen out of them that you like so far? Is there adjustment to them? Yeah, I think the big thing is is just that they put some work in this summer in understanding our concepts. Uh, you know, the big thing that's always held young players back from being able to contribute early is their ability to to retain the information of what we do on offense, defense, and special teams. And uh, these guys have really benefited from the work they put in this summer, you know, with our player run practices and being able to get the reps with the coaches not being here. So if there's anything that's really jumped out to me is just how much information, including the young players, they've been able to retain because we've really thrown a lot at them, you know, these first six or seven practices. You talked about how player driven this team is, how many leaders you have. Can you kind of talk about uh, what it's like to have a mix of very vocal leaders, a, a Dante Demas, and then others who are maybe a little quieter, but are, they're more focused on setting a good example like Kenny Bennett. Yeah, you know, leadership comes in all different sizes and grades and uh, mannerisms. And to me, as we like to say, leadership is being able to have a positive impact on your teammates. And, you know, some guys do it verbally. Uh, and then you've got guys like uh, Jamie, uh, Jamie Mosley or uh, Jordan Mosley who really doesn't say a lot, but if you watch him and how he interacts with his teammates and the type of impact he has, especially on the defensive side and on the back end, you, you can tell he's a guy that's well respected. And so, you know, anytime it comes from the players, it's always a great thing for us. Uh, and as I've said, you know, you don't have to be a freshman in the league. You don't have to be a starter. You don't have to be a scholarship player. Uh, leadership is just being able to bring a couple of guys with you and have some type of impact in a positive way on them. And, we got some guys that have really stepped up and taken on that responsibility. Mike, you might have already answered this. I just got here. Uh, what have you liked the first week of practice so far? You know, as I said, uh, you know, the thing that's been good is I've been, been pleased and impressed with the amount of information that our players have been able to retain. Uh, you know, the, you can tell they put a lot of work in uh, with the player run practices this summer. You know, some of the things that's probably have been disappointing is obviously we have refs out here. And as you know, the two keys for us this year will be, are we a team that'll play with great discipline, meaning minimizing penalties, minimizing the self-inflicted wounds. And you know, I can tell you, we've had quite a few penalties in practice that we've got to get cleaned up. And then the second for us is how we're going to handle adversity. And you know, we've been able to uh, have some adversity thrown our way. We've had some pretty hot days here up till today. We were outside. And uh, you know that adversity of, of preparing in that type of weather, our guys had to fight through, and, and, and so I've been just kind of pleased with some of those things. What are you hoping to see out of scrimmage this weekend? Well, the big thing is getting the coaches off the field, and then being able to see what players are able to go make plays when, when you know, in a normal game-like as game-like situation as we can make it. Uh, like I said, we got a lot of young players that we're counting on. Uh, some veteran players. Uh, we got some new coaches, so I want to see how we uh, react with having to call plays from the box and, and just the, 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 the chemistry of getting plays down to the field. So our game day, our game day uh, you know, execution by the coaches and then on the field, just seeing which players kind of step up and become and, and create some roles of uh, being playmakers for us in all three phases. You've talked a lot about how want this camp to see how deep your team is. Uh, obviously, lots are made about 86% of the team returning. But you yourself have said you want to see just how it can kind of fill out. What have you seen this past week that makes you think that that's uh, possible? Well, the big thing is, you know, we've been able to, to go one through four, and we've got bodies, whereas normally in the spring and sometimes when you're a little thin, you know, you're not able to practice the way we, we would want to practice. And you know, I've been pleased with our depth. I've been pleased, like I said, with the, the way we've kind of upgraded the roster uh, from top to bottom. We've got a lot of players. When you start looking at that three and that four unit, you still have some really good players on it. And so that tells us that we've created the depth that you're, that you're going to need to be competitive here in the Big Ten. Any 
you've talked a lot about, uh, a lot's been made about your playmakers, the ones coming back this season. Have you seen what you want to see out of those guys? Yeah, it's been early. A lot of uh, install, a lot of situational practice, uh, you know, situations that we, we put them in where, uh, you know, I think Saturday will be the best kind of idea for us to kind of know who those guys are. Obviously, we know some of the veteran guys returning. You know, I've been pleased with our receivers in terms of them making plays. Want to see some consistency out of them. Had a few too many drops for my liking out of that group. And if they want to be an elite group, they've got to play elite and practice elite all the time. And so, uh, you know, this Saturday is going to be a great test. Kind of with the running back room, I know Tayon obviously he comes back, but kind of curious because I've, I've seen Penny. You mentioned that he's down about 30 pounds from last year. So, what have you kind of seen uh, about maybe how he approaches it or how he how he's kind of looked compared to last year? You know, both the freshman running backs, Penny and, and, and Isaiah, have both. You know, you can tell, uh, and, and it's great that it's happened this way because we played a lot of young players last year, and though we only got five games in. These guys got some meaningful reps and some meaningful games early, and I think they both have benefited from those reps. Uh, you know, they've been able to create some depth for us uh, in the running back room. You know, obviously having a veteran like uh, Fleet Davis uh, returning, uh, and then, you know, Penny's coming in in great shape. The first time he's been with us for a full year to be trained by RD and, and our strength and conditioning staff. And then, like I said, uh, Isaiah's development continues to improve as well as Challen. Yeah, I mean, Chig, the, the biggest thing that's jumped out to me has been Chig's, uh, his development as a blocker. Um, we all know that he has the ability as a pass catcher and the matchup he creates, and we'll always try to utilize a guy with his skill set in our system. But as we like to say, you got to be able to hit the curveball, and the curveball for Chig has been his ability to, to block big six techniques. We call it the C area. And I've been really impressed from a fundamental and technique standpoint of just how he's improved in that area. He's put on some size, he's put on some strength, and I think that's really benefits him uh, to make him a dual threat as a run blocker in our offense as well as a receiver. And with the, with the quarterbacks, um, you know, Reese, Reese is coming off the, the ACL injury. How's he, how's he been faring here the first week? Yeah, you know, all the quarterbacks to me have a good grasp of what we want to do. Um, you know, Ty Lee obviously has the comfort level because he's been out there in those game experiences. You know, with Reese, to be able to come off of an ACL, uh, do the things he's been doing. Uh, I've been really impressed with David Faust's development. And then even Eric Nigerian coming off of the, the shoulder surgery has been able to give us some reps. So we, we've really helped ourselves in that room. Uh, having Reese and his experience as a starter down there at VMI transferring in, uh, having Leah a second year in the system. And then, you know, with Dan Enos coming on as the coordinator, has benefited that room, so I've been pleased with the development of the quarterbacks. Talk about Coach Enos. How's the rest of the new coaches faring? You know what? It's been great. Uh, everybody's on the same page. Uh, they've done a great job of uh, communicating. Uh, as we've said before, when you add new pieces to the puzzle as a coaching staff, the systems don't change, but, you know, Brian Stewart, you know, Coach Zook, as well as uh, Dan, have been able to put their imprints on their respective fields, uh, add some things to our system that we hope make us better. Um, been really pleased with the way it's come along. This Saturday will be a great test for us because it'll be the first time in game-like situation. We only got two real scrimmages before we play to where we get to do our game operation stuff with the play calls from the box, the signals, and all the sideline organization stuff. So this Saturday will be a big, big day for us. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you guys.